What's up everybody, Dan here. Today we're going to be talking about aligning objects in Blender. Let's say that we have these two cubes. This cube is perfectly central in our scene, while this other one is, let's say, here. So it's not aligned at all. Let's say that we want this to be aligned to the X axis of this other cube. There are different ways to do it. One way is to check what's the position of this object. And let's say this position is 0, 0, 0. Okay, let's copy the position of this object to the new one, 0, 0, 0. Now it's a line and it's in the same position. But what if I want this object to be in the same position aligned to the X? I need to copy only the other two positions. So Z and Y, now it's a line. But this was easy because the two objects are exactly the same shape, not only the same shape, but also they have the origin exactly in the dead center. And it's a very simple uh, geometry. Let's say we are in this situation and this is here. Now, if I want to align this to the X axis, that's easy, I just change the uh, Y value, so the green one, to zero, that's easy. Um, and even if they both are like here, and this one is maybe here, if I want to align them with the center, it's easy, again, I copy the Y value of this one, and then they're aligned. There's another case where I want to align them with the side. So I want this side, so this face, to be aligned to this. What can I do? Well, not much really, unless I move the origin to this face. So I want to do basically this. I change the snap to vertex. I transform the origin. Now I can move the origin. And now the origin is on a vertex. That means that now I can move the object snap into the vertex that I'm interested in too. It's a long procedure and then I will have to put my origin back to the center of the geometry or wherever it was. It's not ideal. Luckily enough, there is a free add-on for Blender. It's included uh, with Blender, which is called Align Tools. You want to activate this and then you will have an additional menu here that it's very easy to use, very intuitive. So simpler case, let's say that we have, um, let's say that we have a few of them that are not aligned. They are like this, and I want them to be aligned with everybody else. So I select the one that I want to align, and the final one that should be the one in the right position, and I can just click Align Location. So I don't have to fiddle with the real position of the object. They can be in totally different position. So I select them all, I select the one in the right position, and I align this time Z and also Y. They were actually laying on our base, so Let's say that I select them all and I align them in the Z position, okay? And also to the Y position. So they are spread through the X. So I don't want to align the X because otherwise there will be all of them in the same place. And now they are floating, but they are aligned. So how can I put them on the base independently by their position? We select them all, we pick the one that is actually laying on the floor as the last one. So every object will be aligned to the active object. You want to click on minimum and minimum and Z. What does it mean? Well, this one are the objects that are going to be aligned, while this one are the objects that are gonna be aligned to. Minimum is referred to the border of the geometry. So if you think about the Z axis going from top, which is the maximum, to the bottom, to the minimum. That means that I can also align them to the top of the sphere, just changing this, max and max. But I can also align 
the bottom of the mole to the top of that one. This works of course in each axis, so example right now they are aligned on the base but we can align them on the Y2 and these are really really neatly aligned now. There are another number of things you can do, for example you can align scale and let's say all and now I have the same size. Of course then you want to align them on the floor again but are exactly the same size so I just have to align the center and then I want to align like this. Let's select them all again and let's make them all like the central one. Align scale, align Z, align Y and now they are perfectly aligned. Another thing we can do is we have a series of objects and we want to align them to this object for example as we say set Y up and let's align these two now they're aligned to all of them but let's try to align the rotation as well it's much faster than changing parameter by hand another add-on that i suggest you to enable it's called oscur art which is a bundle of different utilities but in this case, one of the utility is to distribute the object. And I'm going to show you what does it mean. Let's say that the objects are all over the places. If we select them all and align them to this one, for example, on the Y and then on the Z, it's okay, but here I have a problem. They are not at the same distance to each other. So I want to distribute these objects so they are at the same distance. The center must be at the same distance to each other. I enable Oscurat, add-on, right-click, tools, and they have distribute objects. It says what axis you want to distribute, all of them in this case. So let's say that this object is up here and I want the object to be distributed in a uniform way from this one to this one can select all of them distribute the Z if we want to put them back one by one again we select them all select the last one it's already selected align Z they're back if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button if you dislike the video hit the dislike button twice thank you